place to be. I know an aerospace engineer who'd be up for this challenge. Alright, so here we are, WandaVision Episode 8, only one left after this one. This episode titled Previously On, it starts in Salem, Massachusetts in 1863, and Agatha Harkness is apparently being tried by her coven for practicing dark magic. Her mother is the head witch of this coven, and it probably made this twice as difficult for her to deal with as the witches attempt to execute her. She absorbs their magic, which you can see is blue, and it turns purple while she is kind of absorbing their powers, and you see all of them just drop dead. And uh, she has another little final battle with who is her the woman who is her mother, and she you know, takes her down to all of them are killed in apparently what is like the manner of it honestly reminds me of like what a succubus would do, uh, but I don't think Agatha is that. I think she's a witch. I think she's absorbed their power, but that's kind of what it looks like. I mean, they're being drained of their power, so it's basically the same thing. Um, but yeah, this is a, it's a pretty cool scene, and we really get to see that is her power level. Now, I stand by my comments that I made saying that I still don't think she should be the big bad. I do not, but... It's the ninth, the bottom of the ninth, and I don't believe that they are going to introduce a bigger villain than Agatha at this point. The whole ninth episode is odds are going to be her fighting against Wanda and Vision, and then Hayward is going to come in with the sword agents, I'm sure, and then we'll have Monica Rambeau, and yeah, so we're not going to get anybody else. That's it. There's no Mephisto. There's no Nightmare, and this is just me talking right now because I really don't think that they are going to play that card at this point. I really don't. So Wanda wants to know where her children are, and she tries to use her magic on Agatha. Agatha tells her that she's put a protection spell around the ruins where they are, and only one witch's magic can work in that case. Agatha kind of monologues about the level of magic that Wanda used to create this world. Agatha wants to know how she did it. And she expresses her interest in, again, how Wanda has created this world and everything in it down to, you know, making the people. Basically, she's, she said it's magic on autopilot because Wanda's not even, like, controlling it all the time. She's basically acting, and everything is still going according to what her magic had predetermined it to without interruption. Well, minor interruptions, that is. So Wanda tells her that she isn't in control. Agatha just tortures her a little bit, you know, threatens her based on the fact she has Tommy and Billy captive. Uh, she takes Wanda back to her home in Sokovia. She's showing her memories and making her relive trauma to see where she's drawing this from. And we see her family apartment in Sokovia, her parents, uh, her dad is out selling bootleg DVDs, and he comes home and they sit down to watch uh, the Dick Van Dyke show. Uh, and you can see that this is all these shows that they watch are the blueprint for the reality that she created around Westview. So they sit down to watch Dick Van Dyke, and we know what happens next. The explosion hits, the Stark Industries, you know, missiles right there with the beep, beep, which is basically supposed to be the toaster from the first advertisement. Uh, nice little call back there. And like I said, we, we knew that already, but it's, it's just kind of cool. They're finally connecting the dots. So just as we see Wanda reaching for the bomb, Agatha pulls her out of the memory and asks her what kind of hex she used to keep the missile from exploding. She assumed it was a probability hex, but then we transfer Wanda to the Hydra Laboratory where she was experimented on as we see in Age of Ultron when we're introduced to her and Pietro. Now we see Wanda entering the chamber with the spear that contained one of the um, Infinity Gems and she touches the stone as it floats in front of her and she has this vision, no pun intended, and she passes out. When the Hydra scientists are reviewing the footage of the happening in the, in the chamber where Wanda was, you can see it's been altered, much the way something was edited out of her show when she didn't want something to happen or something happened and she was like, nope, let's run that back. So then we move on. Uh, Agatha takes her to another memory 
uh, which she's watching Malcolm in the middle. This is when she's living in the Avengers compound post Age of Ultron. And this is the beginning of her and Vision's relationship. And she's in the midst of grieving the loss of Pietro and tells Vision that the only thing that could come for her is seeing him again. And Vision explains that he doesn't know grief because he's never had anyone to love and then lose. And as this is going on, Agatha keeps grilling her on how she grew so strong with her magic. So the next scene we get is Wanda walking into the S.W.O.R.D. headquarters and taking Vision's body. No, she walks up to the desks. She walks up to the desk, asks to see Vision, and they allow her back to see the body per Tyler Hayward. She goes into Hayward's office, and Hayward shows her exactly what they were doing to Vision, which is disassembling him. And when she asks what he's doing, Hayward says that they're disassembling the most sophisticated sentient weapon ever made, and he can't allow her to walk out with $3 billion worth of vibranium. He tells her the vision isn't hers, and then she just basically busts into the lab, uh, breaks the glass out of Hayward's office, you know, floats down. Uh, Hayward orders his men to stand down as they have their weapons pointed at her, which, as we've seen before, is not going to work. She leaves without the body. She, she drives away, and she finds an envelope on her front seat. We see her arriving in the town of Westview, New Jersey. She drives around, eventually arriving at the address. There's no home there. There's only a foundation. So she opens a letter, it's a deed to the home, and it was basically supposed to be hers and Vision's. This is the deed to the, the lot in the town of Westview. So she just, you see her, she just kind of breaks down and screams and all the magic starts, she starts omitting her magic. And it's like unfathomable sadness just uh, radiating from her and her magic takes over the entire town. And this is how she created her own sitcom world. This is including rebuilding Vision out of her pure sadness which also i'm sorry it's part of the mind stone she absorbed it into her um and this is this is how she recreated vision so yeah it, it, everything around her is in black and white she's in color and then she turns around and boom she's in black and white again so this is a very like i said it's a very cool scene her and vision sit down on the couch together he's like wanda shall we stay in tonight you know they kiss and she's kind of behind her watching this happen and we see her on a sound stage. Agatha is like, you know, just sitting there, kind of giving her the slow clap, applauding her efforts. And she rushes outside because she hears, you know, these pleas for help. Agatha is, you know, suspended in the air. She has her magic kind of choking Billy and Tommy. And Agatha tells her that her style of magic is chaos magic, and that makes her a Scarlet Witch. And with that line, we finally hear somebody say Wanda's comic book name. So. Our mid credit scene, which there is another one, sees Hayward and the S.W.O.R.D. team preparing to launch the reanimation process of Vision, and it works, and that's where we leave off this episode, heading into the series finale. I don't know if I'm going to be fond of the finale or not. This is a lot of setup to not have a delivery uh, and, and literally have Agatha be the big bad. Uh, it will take away from my enjoyment of the overall impact of the show, if that's the case. And Wanda's the villain, and then Agatha's the big, you know, the, the quote unquote big bad. But yeah, you, 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 they still heel turn Wanda. I, I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, I mean, I understand the why. I just don't know if I like the direction personally. Uh, that's not to say that you may not enjoy the story or how it's going, but for me personally, I just, I, I didn't, I don't know. Like I said, I can't wrap my head around that. That's it. Agatha's the villain. You know, I mean, I understand she's a very powerful witch. Wanda's a witch. I guess that would just be almost something enough to make me not care. And I love the Scarlet Witch character. I, I love Wanda. Elizabeth Olsen's portrayal is great. I just don't know if this is really what I want to see in the series finale or like I said if they now if they do another season of this it's contrived and it's a cash grab because this was supposed to be a one-off you know limited series to set up a movie because that kind of damages the continuity of the MCU if you think about it if they do a continuation to this you know there's a ripple effect so what do you guys think let me know in the comments below be sure to do all the YouTube things and yeah that's it guys I'm out of here uh, We'll see you next week for the finale episode. And I mean, Temple Queen is the place to be reviews. I've been here with all of you. And remember, if I don't see you, have a great day, a pleasant tomorrow, and I'll catch you on the next one.